Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Luke, and we're going to talk about Longfield Academy and how the students in Longfield Academy use the iPads in lessons. How do you use the iPads to learn? Um, I use the iPad because I do research on it because it's easy in internet access and it's quick. I've been using it to uh, record my demonstrations for my lessons and then show students uh, on the board so they can all see it all at once. I use the iPad for homework so I can email it to teachers. The whiteboard's up where you can write things on it, anything you want. And it's just simple shapes are clear. It's, we love it in lessons because they're so easy to use. We can type up all of our work on it, on the notes bit, and then show it to our teacher quite easily. We can also plug it into the boards if we want to. Um, we also did an English lesson once where we had to take photos to show a special play that we were doing. And the photos came out really good and really well, so I'm quite happy with the iPad. How do you use the iPad to teach? Okay, so I use the uh, show me board so the students can write things and then show to me. I use uh, dice, so they have to make up sentences with whatever comes up on the dice. And I've got a talking Tom to introduce objectives and things like that. Squeeze, do you want to show us your iPad? What are you doing on the iPad at the moment? Um, yeah, I'm looking up a Japanese symbol, so... Do you want to scroll down? Yeah, so, it's easy. So, I put it in my lamp design so it can help with my learning and that. What are you doing? I'm recording my friends so that we can analyse what they've been doing and then we'll play it back and see how it went. I use it for note taking, so during different lectures and things like that, we type down notes and doing English, writing up essays. Also use an app called Timetable, so it has my timetable in there. And also for music, I use the keyboard, it's got all the different notes on it, so you can play tunes like that. The touch screen's brilliant, it's easy to go on my maps and especially with your homework, it's really easy to send me all my email. Well, I think it's quite good for like taking photos and stuff and videos. You can do your homework on it, at, like my maps and Sam learning, and it's just really easy. It's easy to use in lessons and like it's more fun and makes the lessons better. You can take it anywhere and it's small so it's easy to fit in your bag. The iPad is useful for school work, like homework and just lessons. I'm using the Macbeth app for my literature. So I sometimes will write out all the quotes and see if I can just quickly transfer it so it saves time instead of wasting time. Do you want to see that? Can you see, can you see what you're doing? So are you putting your notes into your... Yeah. Okay, we can also see that you've got the weight transference from the back foot moving forward. Okay, and what am I going to say about your arm? It's outstretched so I can get my balance right. Okay, so there, that's the bit, the really good bit that says fantastic. So it's not out straight, straight enough though. No, so it could be coming up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that actually shows you you movement, but we can stop it a bit at a time. So if you then carry it on. How does the iPad help you teach? Um, it helps me teach by giving me an additional help in the kitchen because with some students they have apps and on there that which have got recipes with videos in which means you, they can actually look at the video and see exactly what happens uh, what to do in the recipe and then they can come back and ask me you know, is this, this it? This is what they do. In Anderson CLT we use our iPads to make notes, action points so that we know what we're doing when we leave the meeting and to research while we're working.